Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture now, we are going to look at how we can send the OTP using the phone auth provider. That is a class of Firebase. So obviously we need to call the Firebase here. So what I'm gonna do here is first, I'm going to create few variables that we're gonna need. So those are, first we need the Firebase instance, obviously. So I'm gonna create the instances of Firebase auth and give the name as fwath and we also need the uh, callback instance of firebase auth provider okay so let me call that phone auth provider dot on verification state change callback and we'll simply call it at callbacks okay and uh, we're gonna need one more string for verification id We'll use this later in the video. Verification. Okay. And we're going to need force resending token. Okay. That is part of our phone auth provider as well. And we'll give name as token. Okay. So these are the initial variable that I'm making here. And we'll use that later in the video, obviously. So let's go and initialize this callback first. So just after the send OTP button here, I'm going to initialize the callbacks. So callbacks calls to new phone auth provider dot on verification state change callbacks. And it's going to override the few methods that we need. And those are on verification completed and on verification failed. So these are pretty much self explanatory. You can uh, just say what this on verification completed is gonna do because this method is called when the verification is completed and it's going to give us the phone auth credentials and that we need to authenticate the user here, right? And similarly, if the verification is failed, it's going to give the exception message, obviously, okay? So well, we're gonna go ahead and implement few more method that we need. So let's go ahead and override on code sent, okay? And we also need to override on, on code retrieval timeout. And we'll talk about these methods later when we will be implementing this. So first here inside this on verification failed, I'm going to display the toast message if the verification is failed. So e dot get message and it's going to give the actual error message that we get that is actual exception. And now if the verification is completed, we will call the authenticate user. Okay, we'll call this method. So because we already have this phone auth credentials with us, so we can directly call that. So authenticate user and we're gonna pass the phone auth credentials, okay. Now, we need to do a few work here that is inside the on code send. So let me set the verification ID equals to S because this is the verification ID we need and also initialize the token with force resending token, okay. These are the two things that we're gonna need. And after that, we are go once the code is sent, if you remember what I said was, if once we click on this send OTP and code is sent, we are going to hide all of this stuff here and we're going to display all the hidden field. That is uh, OTP interfield, verify button and the recent button, okay? So we'll do that inside this, okay? So let me use all the variables that we have created here, this, and we will hide all of this so let's go ahead and do that. So first things I want to hide is country code. So I'm going to set the visibility and it's going to be gone. Okay. And another one is phone number dot set visibility. That is also gone. Okay. And the last one is the send OTP button that I want to hide. Set visibility. Okay. And we will display all the hidden field and those fields are inter OTP field and verify button, verify OTP button and the last one is resend OTP button. Okay. And as I said, when the button is visible, we will set the recent button as we will disable that button okay because we don't want the user to be able to click on that unnecessarily 
so set enable is false okay and we will see that when we run this application what happens when we set the button as false and now here if on code auto retrieval timeout occurs that means we will set the 60 second of time so once the user click on send otb button we will give them one minute of time to resend the otb so if the one minute one minute is not complete then user won't be able to send the otp okay so here we will um, make the recent otp button clickable that is we will make it actually we have to make it false here and true here actually we want to disable the recent otp button when the code is sent and we will re-enable that whenever the timeout occurs okay now let's go ahead and work on this verify phone number so we will call this verify phone number from here okay when uh, when the send ot button is clicked and we will pass the user phone number here and when the user phone number is passed it's going to go back down here and call this method and inside this method we can now send the otp code okay so how we're going to do that we will use the phone auth provider for that so phone auth provider dot send verify phone number is the method that they provide and here we will pass the options options are the things that is going to specify when these all of these uh, methods are called like let's say when the timeout occur we, we will call this method but before that we need to set the timeout for that so let's go here and create the phone auth options okay so it is literally called as phone auth options and uh, let let's give the name as options and here phone auth options dot we will use new builder and now here we need to pass the firebase authentication instance that we already have and now here we can uh, set the various things so let's set the activity and activity is this because we are currently working on this particular activity right we want to send the verification from this particular activity and we can set the phone number okay and phone number is the phone num that we have received through this call method call and let's go ahead and set the timeout and this timeout is important because whatever the timeout seconds that we are going to specify here we will our code will call this on code retrieval timeout based on that so here i'm going to set the 60 second and we need to specify the time unit in seconds okay and now finally we will set the callbacks and we already have the callbacks and let's build this okay and now this option is passed through this verify phone number here and when this one when this verify phone number is called it's going to call the override overridden method here accordingly okay i hope whatever i'm doing here is not confusing to you because if it is you can always ask me the questions and i will try my best to uh, clear up your doubts so let me know in the discussion section about your confusions and everything okay so for now we have uh, received the phone number and we have passed the we have created the options and now we have sent this uh, request to verify the phone number to the server and now it's going to call the phone auth provider class and it's going to say, send all these parameters to this verify phone number and based on that it's going to call all of this uh, method okay this on verification completed method is called if your smartphone have the auto detection feature okay so most of the smartphone nowadays have the auto detection features and you don't need to type the otp yourself and they'll automatically uh, verify your otp without typing it okay you don't need to do anything but if your phone number do not have that feature then we need to manually uh, get the otp from the user and we need to use this verification id to create the phone auth credentials and we will pass that credential to this authenticate user okay so we will do that here just after this callbacks okay so here 
I'm gonna go and use the credentials. So I'm gonna create one more variable here. Phone auth credentials. Let me call this credentials. Provider dot grade credentials. And here now we need to pass the two strings. That is one is verification ID. And another one is OTP. That is entered by the user, okay? So actually I need to pass this inside the method where I can access the OTP. So currently we don't have the OTP right now. So let me go and extract this OTP whenever user click on this verify OTP button. Okay. So let me add the on click listener on verify OTP button. So here we will only get the OTP when user wants to verify it. Right. So user receive the OTP, he enter into the OTP field and he will click on verify button. Okay. And whenever user click on verify button, we will extract the OTP and create that auth, auth, phone auth credentials. Okay. So set on click listener, new on click listener. And now here we will get the OTP and create the, that auth credential that I was talking about. Okay. So first let me check if the OTP is empty or not. So I can use enter otp field dot get text dot to string dot is empty and if that is empty enter otp field dot set error first okay written and now if the otp is uh, entered by the user then we will go ahead and create these phone auth credentials and now we can get the otp from this field dot get text dot to string okay and now finally we can authenticate the user so we'll pass the credentials okay guys so this is how we uh, get the otp from the user and authenticate them okay and now in the next lecture we will authenticate the user and create the new account i will see you in the next lecture